Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants. I'm back, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Ladies and gentlemen, on my channel, I'm always telling you guys live an active lifestyle, make smart nutritional choices, fight against the laziness. I'm always telling you guys that in this channel. And oftentimes, I'm asked, as it relates to your fitness, exercise, things of that, like that, of that nature, I'm often asked about stretching and warming up, right? What should we do? Do I stretch? Do I warm up? For me, guys, I never stretch before I exercise, right? I probably should actually stretch more than I do, but I don't think that you need to stretch before you exercise, no matter what it is. Like I said, if you're going to play a sport and things like that, usually what you want to do is you want to warm up. The warm up to me is more important than the actual uh, act of stretching because there's mixed, you know, feelings on this, right? So people talk about not wanting to stretch a, a, a cold muscle, right? And things of that nature, right? So when you talk about warming up, and you're talking about exercise, right? Like I said, whether you're going to play a sport or you're going to exercise, you know, going to do a workout, lift some weights or something like that. Warming up to me is more important. Getting the blood flowing, right? Getting the blood flowing, getting that muscle warm, getting the body overall, the nervous system, all that place, right? It kind of gets you pumped up and ready for the task at hand. So for me, I've always told you guys, the warm up for me, the quote unquote warm up for me is always jump rope. I'll always grab my trusty jump rope. And like I told you guys, the way that I always do it is I put on my headphones, I put my music on, and I play a song. So whether the song is three minutes long, four minutes long, five minutes long, whatever the song is, like I said, usually somewhere between three and a half to four minutes, somewhere around there, I play the song and I jump rope to the song and I try not to, you know, break my repetition, just keep it going, right? That's one way that I warm up, right? Just keep going for three, four minutes, right? Or sometimes I'll just do a bunch of sets of double unders, right? Explosively, you know? maybe 50 reps of double unders, maybe take like a 30 second break breather and then do another 50, take another 30 second break and then, then do another 50. I might warm up that way. But it's usually always my jump rope. I told you it's my, my go-to piece of equipment is cheap and it's effective and you could do it anywhere. But that's usually how I'll quote unquote warm up, right? There's no stretching involved in that, right? That gets your body overall ready. That's a full body warm up right there. You know, jump and roll guys, right? That gets everything going, the coordination, right? The balance, all this stuff, man. It gets all the muscles in the body warmed up, man. It gets the heart rate going. Because that's really the key. You want to get the heart rate going, get that blood pumping. So whenever you go to do whatever you're doing, right, you're already warmed up, so to speak, right? The blood is going, right? That's how you get warmed up. If you're going to play a sport like basketball, for example, usually how do you get warmed up? You go shoot around, right? You shoot around. You you do a little, you know, dribbling on the court, things of that nature. That's how you get the blood flowing. That's how you get warmed up. You don't no normally want to get to the court and then start doing some stretches and things of that nature. That's not how, how you really want to do it. Now, if you want to stretch after you've exercised, right, at the end of your exercise, it's like a cool down, so to speak, stretch your muscles out, things like that, I think that works better. So for me, when you talk about stretching versus warming up, it's always good to do a warm up before you do anything, right? So if you're going to go and lift weights, right, you're going to go do a bench press or something, right? What do people mostly do when they go to do a bench press? They'll do a couple of warm up sets, right? They'll do some lighter weight, right? Get that range of motion going, warm the muscles up for the work that's about to happen. So you're always warming up when you exercise. Right? You may not think about that way, but you're always doing a warm-up. And like I told you guys, if you're going to a gym, if you're going to lift weights, do an actual workout, you should probably always get a jump rope in, maybe do some jumping jacks, go walk the treadmill, the elliptical, you know, get that blood flowing, you know what I'm saying, before you just go in there and start just grabbing weights and, and start lifting weights and, and things like that. That would be my advice as far as lifting, uh, as far as stretching versus warm-ups. I think a warm-up is, is way more important. Get that blood flowing. Like I said, no matter what you're doing versus stretching maybe save the stretching for after you've worked out right not necessarily before you work out guys